Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mad Science. I'm Martin, and today we're going to be making some slime. For today's experiment, guys, we're going to need some washable school glue. Uh, this is the same stuff you'd use in any kind of simple craft. You're going to need about half a cup of it, though, so make sure you have enough. If you've only got a tiny little bottle, it probably won't be enough for this craft. The next ingredient we're going to use is going to be uh, a cleaning solution called borax. Uh, borax is a form of sodium tetraborate, uh, the consumer version. You're going to need a teaspoon of that. If you don't have borax around the house, don't worry. Uh, if you have somebody in your family who uses contacts or for some reason you've got saline solution around the house, uh, you can use saline solution as well. My recipe uses borax, so I'm not sure exactly how much saline solution you would use, uh, but half a cup to a cup would be a, a pretty reasonable guess. Uh, the last ingredient we're going to use is just a little bit of food coloring here. I'm going to use blue today. I used green in one of my other experiments. So I'm going to try to keep it fresh, try to switch up the colors a bit. And then lastly, just some warm water. Some warm water, something you can get out of your tap. It doesn't have to be boiled, it doesn't have to be anything like that. The first thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to take a half cup of warm water and we're going to mix in another half cup of washable white glue. Uh, I've chosen to use some old mason jars here. I don't have any beakers or any fancy science equipment, so I like to improvise with some good glass. Uh, glass is going to be much easier to clean off of than any kind of porous plastic or something like that. So you also notice my bowl. My bowl is plastic. Again, that's just prepper. Or it's not plastic, it's glass. But if you have plastic, it's not the end of the world. I just find glass is just a bit easier for me to clean, especially when I'm using white glue because it's so sticky. So once you get most of your half cup in with the other half cup of warm water, we're just gonna mix that all together. You wanna have the glue nice, even, spread out. It'll just kinda create a white, milky kind of solution here. It does actually look quite like a glass of milk. Once that's kinda mixed all together there, you can take that out. I'm gonna put, go ahead and pour that right into my bowl. Once that's in there, the last thing we need to add to this portion of it is just going to be a little bit of food coloring. I like to go for like two or three drops. One, two, three. Let's mix that all together and see how that looks. If your color is a little lighter than you want it to be, you can add a little more if you want. If you want it to be a little lighter, you can come and experiment with that. If you're an artsy kind of person, I find visual arts isn't really my forte, so I don't worry too much about it. Three drops is not very much. You'll get a nice sky blue, but I want something a little richer than that. So we'll add a couple more drops in there, guys. There we go. That should make a nice rich blue for us. Something you could do too, if you have like the whole box of food coloring, you could mix red and blue, you'd get purple. Uh, any other colors, you can make your own, experiment around. Maybe you could take the whole box and add all of them in there and see what you get. You know, spoiler alert, it's probably going to be brown. But if you know your primary colors. So there we go, I got my food coloring in there. I got a nice sky blue look going on. It's pretty neat. So that's the first step. The next thing we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to take our borax and we're going to mix it in with a cup of warm water. So I just take my single teaspoon here, I'm going to dump that right in. Again guys, you want to make sure that your water is warm. If you're using super ice cold water from your tap, it's not going to work out as well as we want it to. If it's boiling hot, I've never tried it with boiling hot water, I don't know how your results would be, but just a lukewarm, you should be able to stick your finger in it without hurting yourself. So our borax, we want to make sure is like decently dissolved in here. Uh, I can still see a bit of white powder in there, but that must mean that my water has become saturated with borax, which is a good thing. Now that we've got our borax and water, our white blue food coloring water mixture here, the last thing we're going to do is mix them all together. Now, I do not want to take my borax and just dump it straight in there. That's not going to be exactly what you want to do. You want to gradually pour that in there, nice and slowly while mixing steadily. That's going to allow for your borax to really get in there. It's not going to start to clump up. The slower you do this, the more you take your time through it, the better it's going to turn out. So I'll just take my borax here. And again, nice. I'm going to switch hands because I think I'm going to stir better with my right hand than my left hand. 
uh, you know, whatever works if you're a lefty, you know, whatever, whatever. If you need a little bit of help holding your bolt, ask for it too. I think I should be okay here. So as you can see, I'm just slowly adding it in. There's a chance I might not need this full cup of borax solution that it, maybe half of it's enough. You'll just kind of want to see as I kind of move forward a little bit here, you can already see it's starting to form in the bowl. But the more and more of the borax we add in, the more solid our slime is going to become. It's going to start to form this gel gelatinous ball in the center there. You'll notice I found some gloves today, in particular just because I want to be able to get my hands in there. You can see that's really goopy and it's sticking to my fingers a lot. So we're not, we're not quite there yet, but that's the consistency we want to start to get going inside of our slime bowl. Our blue color turned out really nice. I think it's kind of nice. Oh, it's all over the place. But since there was food coloring in there, I figured I would use some gloves so that I didn't turn my hands blue so I don't look like a smurf by the end of this. Here we go, a little more pour X and stir again. The more you kind of tune into these videos, guys, you'll notice that I use my hands a lot. I'm not somebody who really worries too much about getting messy, so I much prefer to be able to get my hands in there. You really want to work the borax through that glue water solution. Create your slime. We're almost there. I don't think I'm going to have to use my whole cup of borax. I think really all it's going to take is a bit more. Careful when you to grab your jars because if you've been like me and got messy and stuck your hands in, you're a little slippery. I just drop it. Borax everywhere. Lo and behold, I'd make another mess. But what else is new? It's mad science. All my classes tend to be a little messy, don't they? All right, guys. I think we're pretty well there. I probably could have used a little less borax solution as it's kind of done its thing. But I'll squish it all together. And here we go. We've got some nice, gooey slime. That's the effect we're going for. If you keep kneading that in there, guys, you're gonna kind of get to a bit of a, a silly putty kind of consistency, and that's when you'll know it's done. So, like I said before, you can experiment with colors, you can make different things going on. Um, get creative with it. If you're feeling extra scientific and you've got some less common materials around, something you could do at this point. If you've got iron filings or other magnetic properties, you can mix that in with your slime to make it magnetic. Uh, I've seen recipes for color changing slime that changes with heat. Uh, those are going to require a little bit more complex ingredients. Uh, I decided to keep it simple today so that we have a better chance of doing it at home. Uh, as you can see guys, the more I've moved the slime around, it's gotten more solid. It's not dripping down anymore, it's not doing any of that. It's a nice silly putty like glob. And all of that stuff that was stuck on my fingers is coming right off of my gloves and joining back up with that big one, except for on this hand, now my whole finger stuck. Oh my goodness. But that's that guys. So I hope you guys have enjoyed making slime today. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you go down below and hit like. If you haven't already and you aren't already tired of me and all of my science videos, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications so that when we post new science videos like this wacky slime or cooking or anything like that, you'll get updated for it. I hope you guys are staying well. I hope you guys had as much fun making your slime as I did and we'll see you next time.